quick look at the lineup for Veer United. Roger Williams in goal, Javier Brown, Kemar Beckford, Matt Ludford, Nathaniel Howe, Alwyn Strong, Lamar Neal, Javon Smith, Dunstan Cohen, the under 20 invitee, Odane Murray, Damian Thomas, they're coached by Linval Dixon. Yeah, and this is how they will shape up as well, playing in a 4 3 3. And yeah, Justin Cohen coming back into the starting lineup, that would add a boost the youngster. But yeah, Javier Brown and Lamar Neal, who partners so well with Javier Brown. I love to see when both the number seven and number eight play together, the experienced Neal. And he is back in that lineup as well. I think that would be a big deal for their team. And Odane Murray here on loan from Mount Pleasant, he'll add a boost on that right hand side. Here's a look at the Waterhouse lineup Kemar Foster in goal, Shamari Dallas, Andre Fletcher, Elvis Wilson. Christopher Matthews, Leonardo Thomas, Navarro Blair, Leonardo Jimison, Shamar Booth, Javain Brown, the 10 goal man this season, Rivaldo Mitchell, they are coached by Marcel Gale. Yeah, they as well will be playing with a 4 3 3 formation. Christopher Matthews comes into that back line because, yeah, there is no Keith Simpson. The experienced centre back, he is missing as well. No Damian Bin, so a couple of players coming in, Blair as well. And yeah, Chibison, Thomas and Booth in the middle of the park. Great to see. Full time highlights. Sunshine for this kickoff. And Waterhouse had the strike early. Roger Williams able to hold on to that one. Dustin Coyne with its corner kick, forcing a great save after Dane Murray got a foot to it. And Kemar Foster coming up trumps. The goal would come from this passage of play. Headed back in the area. An attempted bicycle kick. Javin Bryant with a strike. Dallas there as well. And Rivaldo Mitchell getting the final touch. Beating goalkeeper Roger Williams. The sole goal of the afternoon. Here's another look at it. And Mitchell. Three goals in four games for the man who's come alive in the most recent fixtures for Waterhouse. Showing the quality that even from a youth was evident. Rivaldo Mitchell with the goal in this matchup. Here he comes again. And that shot spilled. Fletcher was on hand, literally. Second half action now. Beckford with a strike. Foster equal to the task. Cohen two was denied by Foster. And again, Beckford would test Foster. He had to go low to his right and par that one away. Here again, strike from the substitute Harris, saved by the keeper initially. And he really had to dig deep to keep Waterhouse with the lead. Dying moments, Lorenzo Lou in the substitute, testing Foster. At the death, they could have drowned Waterhouse. But at it, Hamilton was a lifeguard in hand to spear them blushes. Full-time stats. Seven shots on target from 11 attempts. Six from 13 for Waterhouse. 26 fouls in this encounter. Two yellow cards. Javier, one for Waterhouse. Fletcher with that handled attempt. Five offside, three to Waterhouse. 13 corners. Waterhouse had four in a row in one instance. They had nine of the 13. 12 saves made seven for Kemar Foster what a performance he had the majority of the possession with Veer but they have no goals Waterhouse with the sole goal in this encounter as we go to Chris Taylor Kemar on a night where Waterhouse were not at their best you certainly had to come up trumps for them how, how difficult a match was that for you yeah it was very difficult tonight as you see um, we're never functioning well um, in the midfield we think we give up too much space for um, Veer to play and they did play once they give them space to play they will hurt you but fortunate um, we come up with a clean sheet so. some changes in the defensive midfield and the back line for you no Keith Simpson no Damian Vince and that kind of exposed you even more <laughs> Yes, you know, um, Bins is out on injury, um, Keith as well, so the youngsters have to step up and, and I think Chris, Christopher did, did a well, a good, well good job today, so um, I have to congrats to him for his first game and I think he'll do a fair bit. You're not quite an old boy, but you might be an old boy in this unit. Um, <laughs> after being called upon so much in this kind of a match with so much stunning saves, uh, what kind of toll does that take on you and, and what's the recovery like as a goalkeeper? <laughs> 
It's rough for that, to be honest. It's rough. You have, you have to stay focused every time after a game like this. And you have to, the recovery has to be very, very good. Uh, ice bath, um, rest, when you get the time to rest. And then you have to hit back the ground, train it as um, hard as possible. Would you rank this as the best performance of this season for you so far? Um, to be honest, yes. Um, it's quite the, 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 the great one I have so far. So I hope I have many more to come. Um, the season is long, so I hope so. Congrats on your performance, Kemar. Get some rest. Enjoy that ice bath, right, and we'll see you next week.